Hey, what's going on? It's JC. I'm in my mom's garage with <laughs> Alessia Cara. Hey, man, this is a really cool place. It doesn't look like a garage. It's pretty much my own spot. I got a kitchen. It's awesome. You I got know. a little studio over there, I see. Yeah, I got, I got a microwave so I can cook. Yeah, it's incredible. We got good digs over here. Um, yeah. For my Mexican audience, this is Alessia Face. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really good. Just Alessia in case you were wondering. <laughs> yeah. Um, congratulations on here. Hitting Thank number you. one. Thank you so much. They said it was a slow build, which is actually pretty good for you, right? It, it well, yeah, it was actually the slowest build in 22 years in history of like songs. And it, people would yeah. be like, "Oh man, that sucks." No, 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 that's good. That it, means people were coming on. Exactly. It's, I think it was better that way. You know, I, I would rather that than like and work for something than have like a hit that blows up and then disappears and you're just forgotten. You know, it's it, yeah. you build credibility and you build who you are. I was actually I was talking to your dad out there. Your oh, dad's really? so cool. He's like he's chill, yeah. And and I was talking to him about. Do you remember when she was writing that song and he was like, "Yeah, I remember." And he goes, "I did not think it would be this big." Yeah. Did you did you have that feeling when you were writing here? I I kind of did. I didn't think it would be this big. Like I never thought this was going to go number 1, but right. I knew it was going to change my life in some way. I knew it. I just had this gut feeling and it was even like a really crappy demo. And I was showing my parents and they didn't even like it. They were like nobody got it. And I was like, "Guys, trust me." They were just like, "Are you sure?" Yeah. It's pretty bad. But I mean, in their defense, the demo wasn't the greatest. So it's completely different than what we hear on the radio. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one day I'll just put it out just for fun. You should. Show you a snippet. I don't have it. I, I play some for you, but I don't have it on my phone. I would love to hear that one day. It's really, it's like 10 octaves lower. I don't know why I'm singing. Like, it's like, I'm sorry. I'll be over here. Yeah, I don't know why I did Like that. a country song almost? <laughs> kind of. Yeah, it was weird. Really weird. But. Um, and so you were, you were basically going to school. Mm -hmm. And then you'd get off school and you'd go to the recording studio. Yeah. And that's how you were working. Yeah, every day. Um, well, almost every day for like a couple of weeks. I just, a couple of months actually. I just go um, after school, sneak off. I wouldn't tell anyone where I was going. Yeah. Sometimes I would miss school to travel to like the US and stuff and just lie and say I was going to the doctor or something. And then. Why wouldn't you tell people? You just didn't want them to know? No, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I just kind of wanted to stay anonymous and I didn't uh -huh. want to jinx it. And I, I would rather just kind of keep it to myself. See, kids, things just, that they don't get handed to you, you got to work for them really hard like of Alessia course. did. Yeah, definitely. And uh, not to get down on anything, but let, let me take you back to October 8th, 2015. Mm. It's a great day. I'm sure you remember. It's probably the greatest day of your life. October 8th. Because you came by our show. Yes, I remember it. You I remember? actually have it tattooed on my back. You do? Yeah, yeah. And we gave you, uh, we gave you that pizza costume yes. for Halloween. Yes. And then Taylor Swift comes up and says, hey, Alessia, you want to perform on Halloween? I know. And you know what is the worst part is I was actually... I, I packed the costume. Yeah. I was going to wear it anyways, and then I forgot it at the hotel. And then I, when I was at the thing, at, I at think the stage, I forgot. I would have called you and told you not to do it. Really? <laughs> yeah. I would have honestly done it. I, I was. I even told her, I was like, yeah. I have this pizza costume. She's like, I... I She's like, I would just go like the way you are. <laughs> like, okay, you're right, Taylor. Maybe how, for tonight. How does that go? Did she hit you up like with your management, or did she call you on your phone, and she was like, hey, Alessia, it's Taylor Swift. Um, not, she didn't call me, but we, we DM'd over Twitter. It was the very advanced way, new generation way of calling, but it was direct, yeah. And it was just Taylor Swift with the check mark, and yeah, you're like, no like, freaking way? Yeah, casual, simple, easy, yeah, I freaked out. I was at a restaurant, and I was just like refraining from screaming my lungs out. <laughs> How many days in advance do you have to um, get ready? I had, like, it was like four or five days. It wasn't many, like, it wasn't a lot of time. And I remember uh, I had to go to Italy or something, but I canceled right away. I was like, no, sorry, I would too. guys, I have get to you go to Italy. Sorry, so Italy. I love once you. In a lifetime. Exactly. Um, also, I saw an interview that Shawn Mendes was doing with BBC, mm. and he was giving you a lot of love. I don't know if you saw this. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. He was like rolling down the street, gangsta like status, thug, yeah. yeah, like a thug, that and he awesome. covered your song. He did. He did amazing. Are you gonna cover his song now in return? Um, I I did cover his song once. I covered it on Ryan Seacrest a while back. Stitches. Yeah. So I did it first, and then he did. So I feel like I have to cover another one. Yeah. It'll be an ongoing thing. It has like to be. I know what you did last summer. You might yeah, have to yeah. do that. But it's hard. I try to do like both. You can't really do both. People. I'll be the girl. I'll be the you girl. You wanna be the girl? Okay, you be Camila. Because you be gotta Shawn. cover Sean. So yeah, then that's I'll, true. I'll be Camila. Yeah, I'll, I'll cover. Yeah, well, let's do it. <laughs> totally right. Do it. And you guys are both up for a Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award. Yeah. Best New Artist. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Don't do what he did and say nice things. Talk Why? some trash about him. Why? That's how you win. Talk some trash about the Yeah, about Shawn him? Mendes, yeah. He's, you know what? You're not even, you know what? You're not even cool. Not even cool, Sean. You're not even nice. You think like, you're tall. Right. You think you're tall. <laughs> but you are? But you're not. <laughs> but you're not tall. You're not I'm that tall. tall. And you sing all good, but whatever. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't if even you have matter. cool hair or like cool guitars. Because you know what? We'll be over here. Ooh, exactly. Here. You'll be needing stitches. Oh, see? After, we, uh, after I become better. Do you want to join my rap group? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you want to do that? Do you want to do that to yourself? I don't know. If I do. I do. Because you already got uh, way more fans than I do. Oh, I have sad. zero right now. No, you don't. You have one. You. See? 
That's why I love Alessia. <laughs> you're uh, ending your tour on April 1st. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. April I Fools didn't even, I didn't even, Oh, yeah. It's like April. Just kidding. We're going <laughs> yeah. on tour again all over. No, I, I didn't think that. I, we should do something really cool on the last day. Like you got to play a joke. Ah, oh, but now everyone's gonna know. Is that big in Canada, April Fool's Day? Yeah, it yeah. is. We, I think it's the same as here. It's pretty big here, right? Yeah, it's huge over here. But I think in Canada, I don't know if it's here, but you're not allowed to. It's like against the law, the rules to to play a joke after twelve o'clock. Are you serious? Yeah, because then you're the fool. So then, if you do uh, something okay. at like yeah, like at one or like twelve fifty nine or something. I mean, no, sorry, eleven fifty nine. Yeah. Like you're it's just, a lot. You're, you're yeah, you're like a you're. A fool. Well, you need a little street cred, so you might want to do that. Maybe. Why not? Yeah, I'll be like, I'm the fool. Sorry. You know who you got to watch out for is Justin Bieber because that dude will prank. Yeah. Like as soon as April first comes, if he comes near you, run. Okay. Because you know that I'll, he's a, he's a prankster. To, I didn't know that. I, I need to run away from him if I see him on April first. He's a big time prankster. Really? I, you've been warned here first. Oh, thank you. Thanks for warning. You're very me. welcome. Um, is there anything you want to say to your fans? Because we yeah. seriously have been big fans of yours since the beginning. Thank you. Yeah, you have. You guys had me really early on, so thank you. It's actually Shannon. She's standing right there. She fe- she. Hey. They mailed you. your song over to her, and she's like, "You guys got to get this girl in." Thank you. That's awesome. Thank and you basically, so much. she made your career. Thank you. So basically, you discovered me. She discovered me essentially. She, like basically, she did do that. Basically, yeah. I owe my career to you. No, but seriously, thank you. Because a lot of people didn't. So a lot of people didn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The HBO documentary one day. You get a lot of those people hitting you up now that you you finally hit number one. They're like, hey, remember when I said no? And uh, yeah, I mean, yes. Yeah, it's is like, that happening a lot now? A couple. Th- yeah. Little things like, hey, I always knew it was going to. And it's like, no, you didn't always know. You're lying. <laughs> no, you didn't. But it's going to happen. Yeah. Just move on. And you're so you're so good with your fans, too. I, I saw you Thank doing you. your sound check and you talk to everybody. And you're really good with your meet and greets. Thank I, you. I love They're to awesome. see that you haven't changed one bit. Oh, thanks. No, I definitely, with my dad on the road, there's no way I'm changing. Or the, with the people around me, right. they keep me grounded, so we're all good. Your dad's cool. He's and hopefully your cool. uh, your dream from last night does not come true and people do show up. Yeah, my goodness. It was horrible. I just had a dream that like zero people were there and we're just like, guys, let's just leave. We just packed up and left. <laughs> it was so sad. Have you ever had a show like that where you're just doing a show and you're like, I'm not really feeling it. I want to go. Yeah. The first show I ever did was in New York. It was at this place called the Bowery Electric. Yeah. And I dressed up. I remember I did my hair. I dressed up and there was literally two people there and two other people that were the next performer. So they didn't even count. And the other two people were just at the bar talking. And I, <laughs> I was like giving my all and like nobody cared. It was so embarrassing. You have to do those things when you're coming up. I seriously love your story. You have to. Thank you. Um, please go check out her website. Is it AlessiaCara.com? Uh, yes, it is. Yes. And I'm follow her on Twitter, Alessia Cara. She really does write back to a lot of her fans. Yeah, I do. So or, or good I to like see. all the tweets. I try to anyways. Yeah. Like everything. You liked mine once. It was cool. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Of course, man. Fist bump in the air. <laughs> Alessia, thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck tonight on your show. We'll Thanks, see you man. soon. Thank you. And uh, hopefully you win Best New Artist at the Grammys next year. Woo-hoo. Oh, did I just say that? Whoa. Let's play it back next year when it happens. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs>